submit your questions or comments at any time using the Q&A tab at the bottom of your screen. You can do this even before the session starts. Okay, so if, if something comes up, please just don't hesitate to write it in the Q&A part. Um, please try to make the questions and comments short and relevant to our discussion. And uh, this webinar will be available on the kdva.vet, that's V-E-T, Digital Library, and the KDVA YouTube channel in a day or two. So ladies and gentlemen, let's just get started. <laughs> so 2023 was another historic record year for KDVA with our biggest growth by topping our first 10,000 members. And I emphasize the first 10,000 mem members because there's gonna be more coming. And we went over 80,000 social media followers, all thanks to you. So that means that we had about 4,700 new members join our ranks uh, last year. Again, our biggest year of growth. And we also had over 35,000 social media followers. So that's just fantastic. The reason why that number is so important is because it says people care enough to want to hear uh, about information about KDVA. So they choose to follow us and get information every day. What we would really like to do is try to figure out how we can get the vast majority of them to take the additional step and take one or two minutes to actually join KDVA for free. So quite honestly, if you have some suggestions, please put it on the comment section or later on you can email us. Last year's President Yoon's state visit reinforced the importance of the ROK-US alliance. And it brought Americans and Koreans together to show how much veterans are appreciated. If you might recall, that happened in April and KDVA was very honored to co-host a veterans lunch for Korean President Yoon. He was only supposed to stay for a little bit, but he actually stayed for like an hour and a half. Uh, I think it drove his schedulers a little crazy, but that's how much he valued being with veterans. Another major event that KDVA operated and continues to is the Korea Revisit Program. So the Korean government invites Korea defense veterans from UN sending states, that includes the United States, to participate in a week of activities in Korea. So I don't know of any other country that pays for the entire program for foreigners and gives them literally five-star treatment. It demonstrates the deep appreciation and admiration of the Korean people that they have for defense veterans who have served in Korea, you in the audience. It is remarkable and I am very thankful for the Korean Ministry of Patriots and Veterans Affairs for sponsoring and funding this great program that KDVA manages for them. We will continue to work together for the Alliance, but we will not do it alone. We have the power of 1.8 million Americans who fought in the Korean War and the 3.3 million American defense veterans who had or are serving in Korea since the signing of the Armistice Agreement in 1953. If you do quick math, that is over 5.1 million Americans who have served in Korea. And there are millions of Koreans who have served with Americans over the past seven decades. And everybody is eligible to become KDVA members. 2024 will be the first step into the next 70 years of the ROK-US Alliance and KDVA is looking forward to being a leader for Alliance veterans. So again, joining KDVA is free for anyone interested in Korea and veterans. The reason KDVA cares so much about growth is because we see a much stronger and better Alliance when more people join KDVA's efforts. Okay, so that's my brief uh, overview of uh, KDVA um, uh, membership growth and the important role that our members play. And again, 
KDVA as an organization, we're just so thankful for our members. So let me introduce you to some good folks here at KDVA. Uh, first, uh, a new face, a new hire is Miss Ambry Jones, who joined our team midway through last year as our program and admin assistant. So there's Ambry, say hello. <laughs> Hi everyone, nice to meet you. <laughs> she is wonderful and I hope you get an opportunity to work with her. You can just tell by her face and her expression, she really is a very nice lady and we're so fortunate to have her on our team. Um, David Kim is our professional interpreter doing near simultaneous interpretation and is a member of the KDVA language team. So thank you, David. Okay, another new addition to the team and just started in January is the new membership coordinator, Kevin Miller. Because of KDVA's tremendous growth uh, in 2023, we had to hire a part-timer who can try to figure out the best way to support member growth, establish um, um, uh, new chapters and continue to support them. And so that is what Kevin's uh, job is and that's why we hired him. And we're so thankful that he is a part of our team. Kevin. Thank you, Steve. Uh, truly, truly honored to, to be a member of the team here. I'm a, uh, very proud to be a Korea Defense veteran and KDVA member. So having the opportunity to serve in another capacity with KDVA is something I'm, I'm very honored to be a part of. The tremendous growth we saw in 2023 is, is the start of so many great things that Steve had already mentioned with our chapter growth, additional engagements, and we're going to have a lot of great opportunities for our members to help support and engage with one another in support of the Rock U.S. Alliance. Something I like to remind everybody is that it takes each of us to continue to grow this great organization and all of our members serve as ambassadors. So tell your friends, tell your fellow veterans, people in your community, reach out and tell them about this great organization. Make us stronger by having them join our ranks. I look forward to working with each of you. And once again, thanks for this great opportunity. Um, I didn't tell Kevin that I was going to do this, but let me just um, um, talk about Kevin as an example of what a member who is passionate about the work that veterans do for Korea and the United States. And Kevin literally is a perfect example of that. Um, he first found out about it several years ago. He applied for the revisit program, um, was selected for it. Um, he caught on fire, literally, and he's still on fire. And he said, hey, you know what? Um, down here in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, there's a lot going on that most people don't know about that relates to Korea and veterans. And so he approached us, uh, gave us a fantastic uh, presentation of why uh, there should be a KDVA chapter in Georgia. I and mean, that's the model that we use when we set up new chapters. Um, and so uh, he did all of that as a volunteer. Uh, he was doing such a great job that we did our second KDVA reunion last year in Atlanta. Um, and he, he and his group of volunteers there did an amazing job. And uh, General Scott Barati was just so thankful. Um, and so, again, I just highlight what one passionate person with the capabilities and bandwidth uh, is able to do uh, for KDVA and our veterans in line. So, again, Kevin, I really appreciate uh, all the things that you have done for us. So, thank you. Thanks, Steve. So, ladies and gentlemen, when you see all the great social media posts and all of the great uh, graphics and uh, uh, things on email and all the social media um, platforms that we have, that is Amy Fisher. <laughs> uh, you see her on the screen. Um, she is a tremendous supporter of veterans, especially Korea veterans. Her father uh, is a uh, Korea defense veteran. Um, but she has a special heart uh, for that. And so we're very thankful 
that uh, she is a part of our organization as a social media manager. And Amy is now going to just help us uh, just go through a little bit of the member clicks membership portal. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, please put it down in your in the uh, Q and A uh, tab, and uh, we'll get to it. So, Amy, please. Thank you, Steve, for that nice introduction. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and put it to our website so you can see how to log into our member portal and how to work it. If if you're new to it, this is a great stepping stool to get to show you where um, some of our great benefits we have with the dashboard here. So I'm just going to ask everyone on our screen just to um, stop their video real quick. And I will mm -hmm. thank you. Turn mine off as well. All right. So if you have joined KDVA and you probably got your welcome email, it stated that you are now um, welcome to log on to the KDVA member portal. Um, so in order to do that, you can just go to the website, kd, kdva.vet, and there's two ways to log in. The first one is to go through the membership tab and go down to member portal, or you can just click up at the top of the website where it says member portal. If English is a new language for you, our website does have the option to switch over to Korean. And that is the tab right here. Feel free to use that. So I'm going to click onto the member portal. I'm already logged in, but you will uh, enter to a login page. Your username is your email address. And um, if you need to reset your password, you have that option. Um, also on our member portal here, you have the option to change the language. We do have Korean. You scroll down. Um, but once you're logged in, you're on our homepage here. Um, you have some quick links to our member directory where you can search other members and connect with them. And also some of our programs like the Revisit, Progr um, Revisit Korea program, as well as our digital library where we're going to be putting this recording on after, after we're done. Uh, but the main areas that you want to focus on is a couple options here that are at the top of this um, dashboard is your profile, our different chapters, common interest groups, our community forum, our event calendar, and our member directory search. So I'm going to show you how you can click on your profile, view it and make any edits to it. We are asking our members to at least log in once a year to review their profile and make any updates, um, where if you want to change your um, mailing address or say you moved and you were stationed in Korea and you're back in the United States now, we would love to know that um, you have moved to keep our directory up to date. Um, the other options you can do is you can update your profile picture or you can edit your profile. And one thing to note when you edit your profile, you will see all your mailing address, your email address on here. That is not public. So no one else will see those um, that data about you. So just keep that, um, just, just know that that's private. Um, you also have the option to change your password. Um, as you can see, it shows the events I have registered for. Um, I am registered for the next upcoming meet and greet here in the Washington, D.C. area. And you can just edit your profile and put your information in. Next thing I'm going to show you is we're going to go back to the member portal homepage. Click on here, and I will show you our different chapters here. So right now we have um, several chapters available for you to join. Um, we have our Hawaii chapter, our Georgia chapter, and our Korea chapter. And here you can join and start a discussion with other people in that area. Um, 
as you can see, Kevin is um, our president here of, of the Georgia chapter. So if you have any questions about the Georgia chapter, please reach out to him or any chapter as he is now our, our member coordinator. But here you can type a message in, say hello. You know, I'm, you know, in downtown Atlanta this coming week, is anyone around or um, just type any kind of message here. Go back to our home page. Next area we'll show you is the common, common interest groups. So here, if we don't have a chapter located in your state yet, um, this is a great opportunity for you to connect with other members virtually. And we have several categories here that you can look into and start chats with. Um, we have, um, everything from the decade served to uh, camps and bases in Korea to the DNZ. We also have a group for our KDBA interns. So I'm gonna click on decade serve. And as you can see, we already have some members who have joined and started discussions. I'm gonna click on the 1980s group. And you can see we have several people who have already started um, chatting and saying where they were stationed in the 1980s. All right, go back. We also have this opened up if you do wanna start your own category or group, um, feel free to email us at contact at kdba.vet and we would be happy to set that group up for you. And lastly, I wanna show you our member directory search. Um, this directory is open to our regular members. And here you can do a search for someone you may be served with when you're over in Korea. You can search by any of these categories, by last name, um, by camps or installations, or by year. So this is one of the reasons we do send out an email to our members uh, once a year to remind them to keep their profiles up to date because it is very important that um, our members can connect and find one another. So um, the more information you put in your profile, the better search um, results we can get for our members to connect with one another. All right, and those are the basic tools we have here in the member portal. Um, if you do have more questions, feel free to put them in the QAA button or you're welcome to message me directly at contact at kdva.vet. Um, if you do have any concerns or problems logging into the member portal, please feel free to email us directly and we can help you um, by phone or by email. And with that, I'm gonna turn it back to Steve and see if he has any questions or anything we want to Anything more we want to discuss with the, the member portal here? Well, great, Amy. Thank you for that. Um, let me just uh, clarify a couple of things. So um, one, uh, when you saw that we were going into the chapter uh, tabs and it said members, okay, members, your membership is to the overall KDVA membership. So you know, if you click on that to join that chapter in the uh, membership portal, that doesn't mean that your membership now is just limited to that chapter. It's not, it's just you're joining that group to be able to, like Amy explained, share information and such. But again, it, that's one of the quirks and limitations of the uh, software that we're using with member clicks. So I just want to make sure you were aware of that. 
Um, again, you know, um, if you want to just reach us directly with questions later on, you know, please don't hesitate. And that is contact at kdva.vet. That's a V-E-T. Okay. Um, so at, at this point, what I'd like to do is just go into uh, uh, Q&A. And uh, we already have one question uh, from one of our members. And it pertains to the CREA Revisit program. And the person uh, was unfortunate, has applied, but didn't uh, uh, get selected. And so wanted to know how many veterans are funded to go uh, each year? What are the requirements for participation? Uh, and, and, and the person said, hey, I'm not getting any younger. Um, so um, how many are funded? So um, last year it was uh, 50 veterans with their companions, so uh, 100. This year, we just found out this week, due to uh, budget constraints from, from the Korean government, it'll be limited to 25 uh, veterans and their companions, so 50, okay? So uh, what I really appreciate about this is even under uh, financial difficulties, the Korean government still um, values the importance of this program. So they're still keeping it going, even though it's reduced numbers. Um, this will be our fourth year. And the three previous years, what happened was it doubled in size each year. <laughs> uh, so it was pretty remarkable. But again, this, this year, I, I think it's going to be a temporary step back in numbers. But please, uh, we're about to announce that, that this is going to happen. And the revisit program will probably be in the last week in October. Okay. And so we're going to encourage our members, even if you've applied, to go back in there and update your information. And the person asked a very good question. So what are the requirements for participation? I think the person was actually saying, okay, what is it that y'all are really looking at? And <laughs> what are the major criteria? So, you know, we lay out uh, the form and what we highly encourage you to please take time uh, to help us understand why you want to participate in the revisit program. And then we also ask, what is your companion going to get out of this? Uh, and that helps us to better understand your story and the reason why we should select you uh, to participate. The other major uh, criteria that we have to take into consideration are the decades, okay? So, you know, veterans who served in the 50s and 60s, I mean, they're getting up there in age. They're in their 80s and 90s. And so we actually uh, select more from those um, decades, just because they're not getting any younger, as the person said. And then we will decrease the numbers as the decades go up, all right? And so hopefully that makes sense to people. Uh, and then we also got to take into consideration enlisted, officers, male, female, what service, Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines. So all those factors go into uh, trying to determine who are the best candidates each year. Um, so um, certainly appreciate the uh, questions. And if you have any further, please just, again, ask us uh, in uh, contact at kdva.vet. Um, let me um, address another question. Uh, one is called um, the KDVA Campus Club. So people, I know we're starting to get out. Um, all that is, is, you know, I, I've got uh, three kids that uh, either graduated college or uh, are still going. I got one more going uh, next year. And, you know, I've visited like literally 30, 40 campuses. And at every one of those, they say, hey, we've got 500 campus clubs. And, or if you go to Penn State, like my oldest daughter did, they have thousands of campus clubs. So we said, hey, why don't we also do that and ask um, our interns, our scholarship recipients, would you like to start a KDVA campus club? KDVA headquarters provide all of the funds. All we ask is the person to have the ideas, come up with ideas like, hey, have a meet and greet at the college. Uh, uh, do a, organize a webinar 
and have General Scaparati come and speak or Command Sergeant Major Payton. Um, have an actual on-site panel or conference and invite senior alliance leaders because through KDVA, they can have access to them, all right? But again, it's only limited by their imagination. And so if you are out there right now and you like, hey, that sounds like a good deal. How can I start a KDVA campus club and be the president of it and put it on my resume and have access to great leaders and all the funding and social media support from Amy, uh, that's the gist of it. Because we understand the importance of young people understanding Korea and the Alliance, okay? So hopefully that provides a little bit more information about KDVA campus clubs. We um, believe we will open at least five to 10 new KDVA campus clubs this year, okay? All right, let me start to add up here. Uh, okay, great. Um, we have uh, some suggestions. So um, one person said, I was honored to be selected for the 2023 revisit program. First time I got to see the country since 1968. So thank you very much for that opportunity. Thank you for uh, saying so. Um, one other uh, member just said, thank you. Very informative as a new member. I did not know about the uh, member search, which I will try. Well, thank you. And again, Amy, thanks for showing that, that how easy that is. And again, the member search for each member, right? It's only good as the information that our members put in. Uh, so please uh, consider that. Um, the other thing to consider is uh, we are going to open uh, two to three new local chapters in the United States. So KDVA has a local chapter in Korea. We have a local chapter in Hawaii and a local chapter in Georgia. Uh, we will probably open something up in uh, New York, Texas, uh, Colorado, uh, maybe Florida. But so these are some of the areas that Kevin is uh, right now uh, uh, studying and coordinating for. So if you're in any state, doesn't matter where you are, um, we have basically three criteria for someone uh, to start a um, KDVA local chapter. One is we, we want that person to have a passion for it. You know, don't just do it as a, oh, I got to do this. No, no, no. We want you to have a passion and say, hey, this is something that, that you know, I get up in the morning and go, wow, what, what else can I do? So one is passion. Second is you need to have the capability uh, to be able to organize and to lead something. So capability. And then finally, the third criteria is do you have the bandwidth? I mean, there are a lot of people out there who meet the first two, but they're realistic and realize, hey, I do a full-time job or I'm, I, I'm holding down two jobs or I just had a baby, you know, so I can't do it now, but maybe later on. So those are the three main criteria that we look for in one person um, starting a uh, local chapter. All right. Okay. Let me see here. Oh, here's a good one. I should never had this one asked. So does KDVA membership have expiration dates? Does it need to be renewed annually? No expiration date. It is good forever. Okay. Um, and so um, we really value that you took that first step to join. So we certainly are not going to cancel. Uh, and so, yes, please don't worry. Once you have become a member and you're in the membership portal, uh, you are in there and, and you don't have to worry about it expiring. We do want you to go in there annually. Uh, we're in the middle of it now. We've got about another 10 days or so uh, before the window closes. And oh, by the way, uh, if you haven't seen our uh, information on this, uh, five is it five people? Yeah, five people are going to get selected who update their information with $100 gift cards. Okay. So all you got to do is go update. I mean, you just got to log in <laughs> and, and 
you know, truth in advertising, even if you don't do anything, it'll still show that you went in there uh, and then you'll be eligible for the drawing uh, for $100. And again, we do that just because we want people to go in there and like Amy said, update information. And then, hey, by the way, while you're doing that, drag somebody else there. Hey, look, I just knocked it out in, in a minute. You can join too, okay? Um, so thank you for uh, answering, uh, asking that question. So um, hello, tonight is my first day. Ooh, <laughs> I'm retired Army physician and will be heading to the peninsula in the second week of April for a week. Uh, do we have an office at Pyeongtaek and our local chapters there? So yes, we do have a, a Korea chapter. Um, and so uh, um, let's see, uh, if you, the person that wrote this question, if you could send us an email at contact at kdva.vet, V-E-T, we can send you information about the Korea chapter. Uh, but uh, again, they're in Seoul. Uh, and as you know, Pyeongtaek is a little bit south where Camp Humphreys is, but uh, we can get you some more information about activities that they're going to be doing uh, while you're there in Korea. So thank you for asking. Okay. All righty. So um, let me see here. Let me, one other thing. Um, so um sometimes people ask you know <laughs> you know why should i join kdda so that is something that we literally think about every day at kdda yes it's free but you know at the end of the day we have to try to um explain and show very well the benefits of membership because even though it's free it's still going to take time for you to apply. Um, and so it needs to be. So, you know, you're part of a premier professional organization. Uh, you're going to be helping to strengthen and enhance the important alliance between these two great countries. You get to honor and remember those who served in Korea, get to participate in the revisit program and KDVA reunion. And oh, by the way, all that is free. Uh, you get to network with experts and experiences found, quite honestly, nowhere else. Uh, you can stay in touch with people uh, that uh, you served with in Korea. Um, you get to uh, participate in uh, forums and events. And, I, you know, if you chat, use the chat function, uh, and if you ask, there are some people who are uh, joining us right now who have been to our events. Uh, whether or live or in webinars, and you can hear from them whether they thought it was good or it sucked, all right? I, I would tell you the vast majority of people tell you that it was pretty good. And all that is free. And then there's the opportunities to be interns, research associates, uh, opportunities to get published. And we're going to publish our uh, next quarterly journal in the middle of March, both in English and in Korean. And that is not an academic journal. Okay? That is a journal to um, for our members and supporters to share their experiences and their voices about topics they care about. Okay, and that includes just telling their story. Hey, I was a uh, a Katusa who served with the Second uh, Infantry Division in the 1970s. Here's some of my experiences. Some of those stories are just amazing. And guess what? There's no story like it because it was that one person's story. So again, uh, consider all these different things that hopefully people will value. Okay. Um, let's see, another person said, have you considered sponsoring self-pay travel programs for Korea, possibly discounted for Korean vets? Yeah, um, have not. Um, the, the problem just because, you know, um, you are looking at all of the paid employees at KDVA <laughs> on the screen right now. And Erlene and I are the only full timers. Um, and so we're just uh, limited by doing uh, things like that. Um, when we grow to have a staff of 10, 15 
folks, then maybe we can look into uh, um, suggestions like that. But I'm sorry, at this time, we just don't have the, the capability. Okay. Um, any other uh, questions or comments? Let me just go around the horn here before I ask Erlene to uh, select our two uh, door prize uh, winners. Um, see, let's see here. Kevin, any other questions or comments? No, Steve, just to piggyback a little bit on what you said is I think it's unique to have everybody has a very unique story, whether you served there in your first year, whether you served on the DMZ or down south or various places, it might have been your first experience outside of the country. So we love to hear those experiences. Um, I always talk about this being the return on investment. Everybody contributed to the safety and security of the peninsula through your service. And we love to hear those stories and the engagement we get with our Korean War veterans and getting them in a room together with our Korea defense veterans and the stories that we're able to share um, not only allows us to learn a little bit more about the veteran community, but it also reinforces it to the Korean American community and our citizens who wonder why we have military service in Korea right now. So it really is a great educational opportunity to bring everyone together on many levels. So tell everyone to uh, take a look and, and join this wonderful organization. Okay. Thanks, Kevin. Amy, any other uh, comments before we go to Arlene? Just again, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to contact at kdva.vet and either one of us will email you back or if you prefer a phone call, we'll be happy to give you a call and walk you through any questions or concerns. Some of you might wonder, you know, Amy looks familiar. It's because she's actually done presidential level uh, uh, events uh, as an event uh, coordinator. And so, I mean, that's the uh, serious level of um, capabilities and talent that uh, Amy has. So uh, again, if you think, oh, gosh, she looks sort of familiar, that's probably why. Okay. All right, Erlene, please. Who we've been having, we've been waiting um, for mm -hmm. our two door prize winners. Please drum roll. Drum roll. Yeah. <laughs> our two door prize winners tonight are Harold Nicholas and Edward Brotonell. I hope that I've pronounced your names correctly. If you can please email us at contact at kdba.vet, then I will be able to connect with you and make sure that you get your $50 uh, gift card for being here tonight with us. Thank you okay. so much. Well, great, Arlene, thank, thank you very much. We really appreciate that uh, you joined us uh, for this uh, event. We will try to do this about once a quarter. Um, and again, a quick reminder, we're doing our annual um, member information update. So please go on to do that. And again, uh, five of our members uh, who go in there and update will get uh, uh, $100 gift cards each. Uh, we're very thankful to be able to have the opportunity to support the Alliance and our veterans. Um, and we strive to connect people from all generations who care about the Alliance and our veterans. Uh, some upcoming uh, events. So if you're in the Washington DC area, um, on Thursday, the 7th of March at 5.30 is our next meet and greet in Old Town Alexandria, wonderful place called Gatsby's Tavern. It's been around for over 240 years. Uh, Washington and Jefferson, founding fathers used to frequent that uh, place. And again, just wonderful people, wonderful venue. Um, please, if uh, you're interested in local chapter um, or, you know, uh, like Amy said, even if you can't join uh, or there's nothing in your uh, uh, regional local area, please consider joining or starting a virtual common interest group on the member portal. All right. Um, everything is available at uh, kdva.vet. And so, you know, we do all this uh, in the KDVA model of, together for the ROK US Alliance. So thank you everybody for joining us and uh, please go out there and continue to do great things for uh, the uh, Alliance and our veterans.